Just the other day, I was browsing around for video topics, as I tend to do, and came across this rant. We need a better way to collaborate on desktop standards. So this is about something known as free desktop. Even if you don't think about it, you use something under the free desktop banner. This is where things like Wayland itself, the Wayland protocols, live under free desktop. Pipewire, Mesa, and tons of other projects. You will not escape something involving free desktop. And even if you somehow manage to do so using re-implementations and things like that, this is also where very important specifications are housed. For example, desktop entries. Another example, trash, drag and drop, and a ton of other protocols that you for sure are going to be using. And other things like where specific folders should be located. Now the free desktop wiki we have here is not great. It is kind of out of date. I know there are some broken links. If we go to trash, I believe latest version takes you to a 404 page. Yeah, so um, <laughs> the wiki is not perfect, but if we go over to one that I know does work, desktop entries, down the bottom here we have the spec. If I click on latest version, it will take us over to the spec documentation when the page decides it is going to load. Here is the documentation on that. If you want to go click through that and see all that stuff, you can go and do so. However, let's go to another specification, specifically the one talked about by that person, that being status notifier item. This is the spec for how we handle our system tray, like I have down the bottom here. And notice the lack of spec links. Now there are these separate links here, which will link to things that are important to know but there isn't a clear spec documentation like we had for desktop entries. And with the wiki being out of date, with the wiki not being in the best state it could be in, you might think this is an oversight. Maybe it was there at one point, it got removed, or something else happened. But no, that's not actually the problem here. So the author of that Reddit post went and made this issue. Status notifier item is a commonly used standard, despite free desktop not endorsing it, as far as I understand. The first thing that comes up when Googling status notifier item is the free desktop wiki page for it. The wiki page doesn't mention anything about status notifier item being effectively a third party spec. This can cause confusion as indicated by this issue over here. Where is the spec for status notifier item? It's not an accepted specification, e.g. it's not published in the standards page or listed in specs.idx. I'd advise contacting the author if you can find out who that is. Yes, you heard that correctly. Nobody really knows? who made the specification that basically every desktop uses for handling the system tray. Now, because of that, the thing that everybody relies on is K status notifier item, which is the implementation from the KDE land because nobody has any idea what's going on otherwise. Now, this is not a new spec. This is not a new problem. This has been in use for a very, very long time and just like continues to be the state things are in. There should be a clear and bold indication at the top of the wiki page that this is a third party spec not accepted or endorsed by free desktop. And ideally it should also link to the home of the spec. Although according to 44, the author of the spec is not known. Maybe there could be a way to adopt a third party spec if no author can be found. I would be willing to adopt it and have the wiki link to my fork of the spec. I'm mentioning adoption because I would like to propose clarification to the spec, but as far as I know, there is no way to collaborate on this spec because there is no home for it. I would appreciate any advice, and sorry if this isn't the right place for wiki-related issues, feel free to move this issue if appropriate. And following the latest conversation that happens here, they went and made a pull request. Add status notifier item spec, which is adding the spec into the page so everybody can go and see the spec and you know, 
examine it and modify it and all the stuff you do when you have a spec. Now it's a bit more complicated than it just being a third party spec. Whilst I said this is the spec that is used for system trace and this is the standard spec that is used. <sighs> this is one of those specs that a certain desktop does not agree is the standard. A certain desktop would like to do something different. And we had a reply in the main thread by Matthias Klump. Yes, I absolutely agree, as in agree to including the spec on the wiki, and I'm already working on this. It's just a large amount of planning work as I plan to completely update the FDO website in the process and also give FDO some general structure and better guidance to create and update specs. Because as you could probably tell from the website, um, the website, look, it's, it, it, it is a functional website, but it's not exactly great. It's very clearly something that was put together very many years ago and hasn't really been modified much in the way of layout and structure and functionality, we'll say. The status notify item really belongs here, but since it's part of a larger effort via 84 now, I haven't really moved it just yet. <sighs> What is issue number 84, you might be asking? Well, in the industry, we refer to this as hell on earth. Update status notify item slash system tray spec. Now, much older standards like X embed and the newer status notify item got adopted during a much simpler time in Linux before there was a lot of bike shedding to hell and back before there was a lot of UX people who felt like their UX guidelines were more important than the functionality that developers actually want. So back then there was a chance to make changes. Now though, you need to have desktops agree on something where there is fundamentally a disagreement about the kind of functionality that should be available here. Now, as you would probably expect, absolutely nothing productive was done in this thread. All that was done is cemented different desktops in the approach that they want to take. And by different desktops, I mean everybody kind of agreed except one of them. So, two years ago, this is the last actual discussion on the protocol. There was a spec made, but because nobody agreed on the spec, um, there was more discussion here, and again, nothing was actually done to merge the spec, and it's kind of just still sitting very open. Two months ago are the latest comments, and it's kind of in the same state as it was before. Basically, what it boils down to is... Something we see quite often in the Linux space where there are people who have this grand vision of what we can do on Linux, this grand vision of how we can modernize the system tray and stop having it so there's just like apps that use the system tray as a way to have their core functionality, which is great and all but it ignores the reality that you are a niche operating system and you don't dictate app design. Windows and Mac dictate it, and they have this functionality. They allow very complex integration in the system tray, so you are forced to work with that. You can work around it, you can add in some things to make it nicer, but if you don't have a working system tray, there are applications that just will not work on your system. So you kind of just have to accept it. So since nothing is going to change and this is going to be the protocol we use until the end of time, it probably should be in the wiki and I'm happy Matthias Klump does agree so. It's reassuring to hear that, although there doesn't appear to be a general consensus over this, 
Although, I suppose that's just the nature of the Linux desktop. For example, someone in the conversation told me that some communities like GNOME think that status notifier items are an anti-pattern in general and have no place in free desktop. Whatever the eventual fate of status notifier item may be, I think there's a need to help out people collaborating on third-party standards because it's very hard to improve a standard, maybe to the level where it's considered for inclusion. If people don't know how to do so, there is no home for the standard, no clear way to ask questions or propose improvements, etc. Which to that Matthias says, Honestly, since free desktop is not a formal standards body, but a place of collaboration, and due to the fact that status notifier item is supported in many desktops, nearly all that I found, even GNOME, has a plugin, it absolutely and 100% belongs here by FDO's very mission. This is part of the problem with free desktop. It's a problem, but also their benefit. Free desktop is a development space, a collaboration environment, that houses a lot of the FOSS world, but not really a place where we officially create standards and assign standards. It's just standards happen to be made here. So it creates sort of this slightly different expectation about what you get from the specifications that come out of free desktop. Because even if GNOME was right, which is a very interesting choice of words, I don't know if he meant that intentionally. I know Matthias has had his fair share of negative run-ins regarding creating protocols and GNOME people. So... <laughs> Maybe I, look, maybe I shouldn't read too much into it, but there feels like a bit of snark there. The fact that this spec is so incredibly widely supported makes it a de facto standard. If everybody is using it except one place, it's effectively a standard. And free desktop exists to document de facto cross desktop standards. Of course, there is also no way to make GNOME like or support it. So consensus building is still extremely important if we want anything that is ultimately implemented by everyone. Honestly, I don't really think you're ever going to get GNOME on board with any sort of system tray protocol because effectively they want to remove the system tray and make it more like the... I guess like drop down thing you have on Android, which just does not align with the way developers want to use it. For FDI envision something like Wayland app slash protocols eventually, which lists the projects that support a given standard below the protocol. That way it's transparent for both developers of apps as well as desktops. This is an incredible resource if you want to learn about Wayland protocols, where they exist in different parts of the spec, who's supporting them. I would highly, highly encourage you to read this. Oh, and this is new. Apparently it now has Hyperland protocols in here. I did not realize that. I don't know who added those. But good, I can respect the fact that even though free desktop people don't like Vaxry and don't like Hyperland in a lot of cases, even those are being documented in this website. Now this whole conversation about status notifier item, of course, restarted the conversation about status notifier item. And this thread has way more comments than it actually should. And I'd like to highlight a couple of them. Here is a comment from Daniel Four of The Elementary Project. We've been trying to tell app authors to stop using it because it's not a standard for years. There's been many articles and talks about it. Major companies launch campaigns to ask developers to use actual standards. It will not die for whatever reason. I do love this talk from Gnome and by extension Pantheon people because Pantheon is built off of Gnome tech where it's like developers are doing something and they keep doing something and they refuse to comply with the standards that we think are the real standards I don't I don't understand what why why would why would developers not use the thing that we want them to use hmm it's a mystery could it could it possibly be that your magical mythical standards don't actually align with what developers want to do. Surely it couldn't be that. As pointed out by a later commenter, designers from Pantheon and Gnome believe it is an anti-pattern and don't want to support it. Other desktops do not necessarily agree, notably Plasma, and indeed users of Pantheon and Gnome do not necessarily agree either. And this is why there is a very, very popular extension made by Ubuntu, 
that adds in support for the protocol. That's being app indicator and case status notifier item support, which has, you know, a couple of downloads, just, just a few. I do think this indicates there is a legitimate problem. There should not be an extension that has this many downloads. Something downloaded that much clearly shows that this is something users want and probably, I don't know about you, probably should be a core part of the desktop, like a lot of other things that we have here. This is on the first page, but on the first page, but still on the first page. But a lot of these other things, I don't know, maybe they should be a core part of GNOME. And here is another one. The thing is, we definitely don't want apps to use it at all. So the more it can be buried, forgotten, and disappear, the better. Gnome wrote about getting rid of it since 2009. Ubuntu said they would drop support in 2010, but then backpedaled. They backpedaled because users needed the feature. Pantheon's first release was in 2011, and it was never supported there. So we've been trying to get rid of this for like 15 years now. I like how, again, it's this, this Wii thing as if the GNOME ecosystem is the arbiter of like what is allowed on Linux. And yes, Discord and Dropbox insist on using it despite it only working on distros that ship extensions to support it. And KDE and XSCE and every window manager. Um, uh, yeah, GNOME is the outlier here. This is really a problem of lazy corporations writing cross-platform apps that don't care about Linux support. The solution is for Discord to stop using this, not for free desktop to adopt it. Now, in reply to a further comment saying if the sentiment is so strong, Zamunda, otherwise known as Xavier Hugel from KDE, says it isn't. Some people have very strong opinions on system tray icons, but the sentiment is very, very far from universal. Most desktops do, as far as I know, still intend to continue supporting system tray icons, even on desktops that have dropped support for it. Distros commonly patch it back because it does, like you say, break applications. Basically, the point of all of this is there is a de facto standard specification that exists in the Linux world that is adopted by every single desktop minus GNOME and Pantheon. And because it's technically a third party standard from free desktop, the spec is not listed in free desktop, even though that is the logical space to develop the spec. And because the spec is not listed there, there is no home to develop the spec. So nobody really knows a good way to go about changing the spec. And the only thing that can be done is just write a new spec that is based on it, that can actually be part of free desktop. Even though that's never going to be adopted because nobody can agree on what a new spec should actually look like because everyone else wants a core set of features and GNOME people don't want them. So, <laughs> you know, um, maybe a standards body that is actually a standards body would change something. But even then, even if there was an actual standards body, you would still need to convince people to actually go and implement the spec. So it would still be that same discussion just happening at a different time in the whole protocol development phase. So, um, you know, open source is open source, Linux is Linux, and uh, problems like this are just always going to exist. And that means more content for me and more things that you guys can just uh, hear about and just learn about how Linux all fits together and, you know things being kind of a mess. So if you like this kind of rambly random video, go like the video. If you really like the video, also let me know your thoughts down below. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe to Libero Pay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And I probably shouldn't wait until like 3 p.m. to eat lunch, hey?